hey there, peaches. I like this. Go ahead. We did see some interesting behavior. What is that about? I haven't even showed you that side of the property. Dunbar. Hey, buddy. Look at the little red dog. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Got the skid steer. Matt and Knuckles is right here. We're out here in the hay meta. Got our boy here recovering from the iron tree at Dunbar. Sorry, it's a little loud. Getting some work done today. Running something for the first time ever. I have rented a awesome looking attachment and I can't wait to use it. Gonna roll out a bill of hay for these guys real quick out here because uh, it's that time of the year. We've hit that already, right? So we're gonna get that going. We're gonna go to another portion of the Ponderosa and show you what's going on. Hope you guys are ready for another bison video. Hey, Hoss. What's up, Hoss? I better roll this out before they get it. up in here come on <laughs> come on come on come on girl come on let's go let's go come here come on good girl come on come on come here mama come on good girl get you out of here come over here okay. oh, I squeeze here we are buckled in by the safety pole. Okay. I'm sure. Walk up to the barn. This is how you're greeted. Jackie and a herd of wild dinosaurs. Yep. And they'll follow me anywhere. And then there's Cora. Hey, Cora. Hey, girl. What are you doing? Pretty girl. Girl fed, just doing a lot better. Get some nice alfalfa for the day. Good, girl. What's there for you? <laughs> Charlie's, Charlie's making a movement here. Sorry to show that to you. Hey, Jackie. Hey, 
first place we're going to start is in the big joe herd pasture pasture three i know some of you are going dusty why are you cutting these trees down number one i've got to get rid of the trees along the fence two there's a lot of trees such as hackberry and elm that really can take over your property if you don't manage them they can get in your fence lines and they can also affect the growth of some of your large native deciduous trees such as our pecan trees so here in this area next to the pond i'm taking out the smaller trees leaving the native pecans and trimming out underneath them so that these native trees like pecans and our post and blackjack oak don't have to compete with the shrubby like trees of the hackberry and the elm trees so you really just have to work the marshall tree saw from one side of the tree to the other if it is a large diameter tree and this thing is cutting trees 10 11 12 inches on diameter large trees another tree that i was focusing on especially around some of our ponds is the willow trees y'all tell me how a bison is supposed to graze in this exactly All right, guys, it's day two of the Marshall tree saw. Um, yesterday, what I did, I kind of, I guess I never explained the reason why. Got my water, got my breakfast, I'm ready to go. Starting off a little early this morning, a little pretty sky behind me. But um, there's the herd. They heard me. <laughs> They're going to come check me out, I'm sure. I'm walking to my skid steer right now, but I guess one of the things is I, I didn't explain to you really, sorry. So what I'm doing is I'm really, I'm clearing out some trees, basically some unwanted trees. I'm cleaning out a lot of willow trees that can damage your uh, pond dams. Uh, also drinks a lot of the water, getting rid of a bunch of those around our ponds. And then the other thing, get to the skid steer. Uh, the other thing that I'm doing is uh, going down our north fence line, uh, basically starting at the red barn, at the Ponderosa barn, and heading west and following the north side of the property because got some uh, got some new products that have came our way and doing uh, some business with a company I'm going to bring to you pretty soon. And uh, we're going to get into the... Uh, business of hot wire using hot wire with bison it's a it's a thing and a lot of people use it. i've seen a lot of bison guys do presentations over it and so i'm really excited to work with this company and use hot wire it's going to be a huge learning point for me because i have this much experience with hot wire electric fence and so i think it's going to be good for our bison i think it's been good for us in our management here of the land and uh, i'm excited to use it but i have a lot to learn so my point is is as we go down this whole north side here there's a lot of brush in the way it hasn't been cleared for a long time i'm talking blackberry bushes maybe as tall as your home and uh, even if you live in a two-story <laughs> ridiculous like I haven't even showed you that side of the property because it's so uh, overgrown. Um, but there's some trees in the way. So I'm taking this uh, tree saw and clearing the trees out and I'll come through. Um, I can move the trees too with it. And then I'll come through and brush hog it or brush cut it basically and make a straight line because when we put in, when we install this hot wire, we're going to install it on this north side and it's going to be the main line to support the whole Ponderosa property. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm excited to do it. So right now that's what I'm doing 
is cleaning off this fence line and they're doing a couple other little projects getting getting rid of some uh, trees that we don't need and uh, trying to bring back the planes a little bit right for those guys all right let's get to work whoops look out con Enough time of being in the skid steer using the Marshall tree saw. Getting a lot done there. There was a couple other things I wanted to get done before the end of the day. Got Marissa and Brooks with me. We wanted to head out to the Dunbar herd and the Big Joe herd, visit both of them, and give them one of their favorite things that I always like to give them. Another sweet block protein tub for the Dunbar herd. It's their Snickers of the diet. Snickers with some a lot of peanuts. Oh. Hey, girl. You see Dunbar? And Haas? Oh, what is that about? Speaking of hot wire, Kevin had some extra hot wire left over that he uses on his sheep and goats. And so I took it and what I needed to do was we actually put up a small section of it uh, around a bad part of a fence that we're going to have to work on in the future. And so this is kind of a test run for me and for the bison to see how they handled hot wire before we really start this huge project using an electric fence. It seems to be working great and they're respecting it. While me and the girls were in the pasture, we did see some interesting behavior from Dunbar and Haas. Uh, this was a situation we never seen before, but basically Haas was escorting a female around, walking together like Haas was courting her, even though this is kind of late in the breeding season, and Dunbar was following Haas and this female. It was strange. I don't know if Dunbar's had a long summer or he's just tired and not gonna you know fight Haas against this specific female but it was an interesting situation that Marissa and I hadn't seen and we both saw it at the same time and wondered what is going on so we're gonna have to pay attention and see how long this continues it's kind of strange breeding season should be over but we'll keep an eye on it Well, I just set a tub out, one of their favorite, 20% protein tub. They need a little bit of love. Hey there, peaches. Hey, they're pretty good. You're going to like this. Go ahead. Need some of that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Hey, girl. Peaches is the one we raised over at the original place, Mom and Kevin's. Yeah. Oh. So they put molasses in the center, bison like molasses, also in our uh, Redmond Minerals. And bison 90, they put a um, molasses in there to help the bison, as you can see there. She's loving it. She's a pretty good girl, always been good to me, peaches. And then get to all the protein right here. But since I was out here, I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to get this out of the pasture. This was left here long before we got the place. It was here. The pasture's pretty clean, but I wanted to get this, and um, anyways, I think I'm going to make a bale holder out of this. I'm pretty sure that's what they used with it, but I'm going to haul it up to the front. Got it rigged up here. We're going to haul it up there. We're going to do some reinforcements on this thing and use it. What do you guys think? Restoring some old stuff that was left here. Here comes the herd. Peaches. What are you doing? Controlling the radio?
Hey, thank you guys for watching us. Thank you for being a part of our channel and our journey. We'll see you guys soon.